highlights from a special gang show production presented by the Scouts of Coventry to mark this golden jubilee occasion and to pay tribute to the gang show's creator, Ralph Reader. and sound of the gang show, a style of entertainment that's become synonymous with the scout movement over the past 50 years. And behind hundreds of gang shows that have been written and performed around the world during that time is one man, their creator, Ralph Reader. He spent the whole of his life in show business. At the age of 18, he was a chorus boy. Then he became a dance director. He directed musicals, not only in London's West End, but also on Broadway in New York. During the war, he created the RAF gang shows, and I think I must have seen just about every single one of them. Later, he turned his considerable talents to producing pageants on a grand scale. But of course, Ralph Reader is best remembered for this, for the Scout gang show, and his ability to turn energetic, enthusiastic amateurs into just about perfect professional performers, and then present them with verve and vitality was the envy of many an impresario. This evening, in the 75th year of the Scout movement with its world membership standing at the 16 million mark, the Scouts of Coventry are presenting a special Golden Jubilee gang show about the man they still call Mr. Gang Show, Ralph Reader. Staged in the style that Reader himself made famous, tonight a cast of over a hundred with weeks of rehearsal behind them pay their own, the gang show's own, celebratory tribute to Ralph. the Cubs. Shop off! We'll handle it our way. Well, you've seen and heard the rubble. Now, this is where the class comes in. Yes, this is the scene you have all come to see. The Cub Scouts of Coventry. Let us take you back to the second decade of the 20th century, to the days of the old time music hall. When Ralph used to visit Brighton Hippodrome, or any of the theatre he could get to, to see the start of the day, tread the boards. But before we go any further, Brian, open up the curtains. Chris, give us a back cloth. Please. Thanks. Bert, start burning some what? That's, That's it, it then. No, no dirty, dirty jokes, just 15 minutes of good, clean fun. You don't need me to remind you that the stage has now been completely taken over by the nine and ten-year-old 
Cub Scouts. Ralph went to America and became a success on Broadway as its youngest ever choreographer. Songs from some of the shows he worked on are brought to us now by the Scouts of Coventry.
In 1928, Ralph returned to Britain and repeated, in fact, even surpassed his Broadway triumphs. In one year alone, he contributed to no less than nine productions in London's West End. The selection of music from those hit shows begins with the evergreen Varsity Rag. tender blue at 24 he got it rather badly with eyes of a different hue at 35 you'll find him flirting madly with two or three or more when he fancies he is past love it is then he meets his last love and he loves her as he's never loved before. I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, don't ask me. I won't dance, my dad with you. My heart won't let my feet do things they should do. You know what? You're lovely. And so what? I'm lovely. But you know what? You Ambrose Nights by Ivan Novello, with whom Ralph worked many a time. Of course, in the field of popular music, few composers have been more prolific than Ralph Reader himself. And here's one of his post-war hit numbers, Strolling. Oh, dear, wonder what the matter is. Oh, dear, can it be the matter is? They're missing something, and I think that it's just something that I know that I have got, and it's because... I can jog along without any plans. I can jog along with time on my hands. Oh, I can be so happy, oh, so very, very happy, and I only want to go.
Ralph's career in the commercial theatre was cut short by the war. But in 1939, he brought his talents to the RAF gang shows, an unforgettable mixture of songs and comic sketches. We can't believe it's happened, but it's happened. We didn't think it could do, but it has. And though we heard it sometimes just to others, we never dreamed that we should get the rust. The wedding march is just a mocking echo. We never shall forget it till we die. A two of everything is almost useless. They had better tell you of the reason why. A soldier's done the dirty on our AV. He never even turned up at the church. What more is there to say on this her wedding day? He simply went and left them in the lurch. We hope that heaven will protect our Amy. And won't the wedding reckless now be tame? The lavanges won't be tasted, and the sausage rolls always thin. Oh, it really is a blooming awful shame. A soldier's done the dirty on our Amy. A lonely life from now on she must lead. She's thrown out on the floor her lovely bottom drawer. She's got a lot of things she'll never need. We wonder what the future holds for Amy. We know that now she'll never change her name. Now the honeymoon is no go, so she'll spend it playing. Bingo! Oh, it really is a blooming awful shame. Is going to stand right by her Amy and tell her to the end she must be gay. Now that man has proved so fickle, she has had a snap and tickle. Oh. Those of us who saw them, the wartime RAF gang shows are remembered most of all for their rousing musical numbers. Every night 
Music from the RAF Gang Shows. In 1944, at the Royal Albert Hall in London, Ralph produced the Festival of Remembrance for the Royal British Legion for the first time. This moving tribute to the victims of war became an annual event with which Ralph was associated for more than 30 years. Tonight, the Scouts of Coventry sing Rose of England. <laughs> Ralph Breeder produced over 150 pageants and festivals at the Royal Albert Hall. But it was his scout gang shows that were to make his name famous and his style familiar in every country of the world where there are scouts. Typical of these productions was this finale to his 1964 London gang show, when the band starts to play.
with nearly all his shows, the Scout Gang shows are famous not only for the spectacle, but burlesque. <laughs> In 1938, again at the Royal Albert Hall, Ralph Reader staged the first of four productions of Mammoth Pageant, Boy Scout, the cast of over 1,500. But spectacular though these shows were, their inspiration came from the values and principles of the Scout law and promise embodied in the simplicity of the investiture ceremony. My duty, do my duty. To guard them to the Queen. To guard them to the Queen. To help for the people. To help for the people. And to keep the Scout law. And to keep the Scout law. I welcome you to the Worldwide Brotherhood of Scouts. choreographer, performer, writer, composer. Ralph Reader has been all of these things and, of course, a scout. Here's a medley of some of his most popular songs, many of them still sung today at campfires around the world.
And finally, the Coventry Scouts sing Ralph's latest composition, celebrating 50 years of the gang shows. Its title could be applied to Ralph himself. It's been a long, 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 long run. Now's the time to celebrate. Now's the time.